here in downtown Torrance at Foster's Freeze. Doesn't get any better than this. We're here at the Torrance Farmer's Market. Welcome to Spotlight Torrance, where we're exploring your city. I'm your host, Shannon Murphy. Thanks for joining us. And today, we're in Old Town Torrance at a store that's gonna help you get your groove on. Just off Torrance Boulevard on Satori Avenue in Old Torrance, you'll find this unique music store that's been helping you crank up the tunes for more than 15 years. Here we are at PM Sounds. I'm with owner Irving Johnson. And now Irving, I know you've been in business since 97, so you're doing something right. So this music store has a specialty, and I have that might, that might be a big part of it, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And your specialty is? Vinyl. There we go. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your store? Well, we mostly carry vinyl here and have since I opened. Mm -hmm. And the uh, thing is, jazz, soul, blues, rock, a little reggae, you know, a little variety, but good condition. Right. Because that's the biggest part of it, trying to find yourself in good shape. You know, a lot of people still into it. Oh, yeah. A lot of people thought, you know, vinyl was going to kind of go the way of 8-track and become obsolete or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it did. But... When, you know, CDs came in mm -hmm. and people were just selling their vinyl, just throwing it out, you right. know, giving it away. And I was trying to buy it up and now all it's... I could, you know. And now it's paying off for you, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that's what the majority of my sales is vinyl. Absolutely. It's nice. Well, we're, when we come back, we're going to find out all about PM Sounds, a little bit of your history and the history of the store here. But before we do, Jennifer Hua is going to take us to the 2013 Summerfest. We'll be right back. Five years ago, an employee at the Depot restaurant here in Torrance was shot on Western and 205th Street. The next day, a young girl was killed in retaliation. Neither one of these people were gang members. After these two incidents, Chef Schaefer knew he wanted to help change the community for the better. His most recent effort to do so was by reaching out to the Toberman Neighborhood Center, which is a nonprofit organization based in San Pedro. Together, they created a partnership to help further the cause in providing for families in need. This is a great, great group of people who help children in the San Pedro, Lomita, and Torrance area who are in trouble and need a safe haven. There are many programs that Toberman has to offer assistance in the community, uh, such as uh, uh, mentoring, uh, gang intervention, fam all different kinds of family assistance. To debut their new partnership, this year's annual Summerfest hosted by the Depot was geared towards raising funds for the Toberman Neighborhood Center. So far from what I've seen, we have a, a great interest in this, in this event. A lot of people are here. So whatever that we can, can generate is, is wonderful. Nearly 200 people attended to indulge in the great music, food, and drinks. And some also tried their luck with winning some items at the live and silent auctions. We have our bids in on a few things and we're hoping to get a couple things. One was uh, a, a dinner at the Whale and Ale and uh, a couple of party baskets and um, we'll just see how it goes. But most importantly, everyone who attended didn't forget why this night was more than just about having a good time. You know, the kids at Toberman House are very important. Uh, they experience different things in their city than we do in the city of Torrance and we're fortunate uh, to have a city that we do. Uh, so it's nice to be able to help out somebody else too. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Jennifer Hua. To find out how you can become involved with the Neighborhood Center, visit Toberman.org. And The Depot and Chef Schaefer have plenty more events planned this year, including their 18th annual Halloween Ball in October. For more information, visit DepotRestaurant.com. Irving's history is just as interesting as his unique store. Born in Buffalo, New York, he fell in love with music in the early 70s when he started collecting records and DJing. But he decided to part with his collection to begin a move out west. Sold my collection to come out to uh, Chicago, then to L.A. And uh, my mother was like, oh, you'll never get those records again. Because she knows how much I love my records, right? So I was like, eh, I'll get them, I'll get them better. So I came out here and uh, started DJing, working and stuff, and just started buying records again, like daily, every day, weekly. And then I had you know, probably 15, 20,000 records. I wanted to open the store, and I knew I wanted to open the store at some point. The move paid off, and his collection grew to where he only had one choice. 
So it got to the point where I had to open the store, you know? And you know, this is not something you want to do when you get a certain age because of the weight of the records. Can't carry those boxes like I used to, you know? So I um, opened the store in 97 and uh, it's been 16 years. Still love it. And his customers love it too, like up and coming DJ Haruka Nakihama. So you, you like coming in PM Sounds because I heard yes. you're a DJ. Uh huh, yes. And so you get most of your vinyl and records here for it? Yes. I get most vinyl from here, yes. What type of sounds and uh, artists are you usually looking for? I love the jazz and also R&B, soul and hip hop. Yes. So my favorite um, is it, um, Miles Davis and Sonny Rollins. It's and you incorporate that all into your DJ set? Uh, yes, I'm going to, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and also, I'm sure, for your own personal listening. Yes, I do. I, um, do you do use mostly just vinyl or CDs as well? Most of the vinyl, yeah. yes. And this is this is the place to find all the good stuff, right? Yes, it is really nice, great collection. Yes, thank <laughs> you so much. Thank you. Haruka might have been a little camera shy, but we definitely have to agree with her that PM Sounds has a great collection of vinyl. Irving says two particular types of music have a big demand. Yeah, I saw a lot of jazz and. Uh, Surprisingly, a lot of rock, but I, you know, the thing with rock is certain titles really sell, and they can't keep enough of it. You know, like Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, Pink Floyd, The Smiths, Cure. You know, Depeche Mode. We get those groups in, and they go like this. So I got regular customers just come by, and as soon as I put it out, boom, it's gone. You know, but and then jazz. I saw a lot of jazz. A lot of dealers come from overseas and got a reputation having good, clean jazz reasonably priced, and uh, that's hard to find in good shape. You know, I gotta say, Irving has been extremely knowledgeable and very helpful in picking out some great music for us. Kind of like the SoCal Honda dealers, where they're lending a helping hand and giving out some free ice cream. Arnav Gomdala had a yummy surprise visit at the Torrance Plunge, a perfect trip for this hot summer day. There you go, one for you. One for you, what about you, Dad? When the sun is this hot in Torrance, it's always good to have the helpful Honda people handing you free ice cream. It's our job to be helpful. The SoCal Honda Dealers Helpful Honda campaign is sponsoring the first free ice cream truck this year with the goal of making people smile. I really like these ice cream days because it's the kids that come up, you know, running and the moment they see free, it's amazing. It's really nice for people to give away free ice cream to other people. It helps them out and saves them some money, too. And who doesn't love anything free, especially if it's as delicious as ice cream? I think it's excellent. I think it draws, you know, shows a happy, you know, the kids really like it, and it goes with swimming, so I think it's all good. The ice cream truck has been making random visits to cities in SoCal for the past month, and it rolled through Torrance recently as one of its last stops for the summer. Torrance is where our headquarters are located, so we like to stop by sometimes and uh, help out the community, do whatever we can. And the community appreciates the help from Honda, especially the kids. How often do you want the ice cream truck to come? <laughs> Every day. The ice cream truck might have made its last trip for the year, but it will return again next summer. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Faith Lee. The Helpful Honda guys have plenty more events on the horizon to help put a smile on your face. For more information, visit facebook.com slash SoCalHondaDealers. And don't worry if you missed any of that free ice cream from the SoCal Honda dealers. We've got another place that will help keep you cool this summer coming up later in the show. But for now, we're going to get back some of this great music here at PM Sounds. Oh yeah. So Irving. PM Sounds, how'd you come up with the name? Um, well, I had a production company and, um, you know, a lot of gigs were at night, so I just used PM Sounds and I just kept it because I opened up at 12, 12 to 6, Tuesday through Saturday, and it just fit. And his decision to stick with vinyl over CDs was another good fit. The thing that got me was that um, even buying them wholesale, I couldn't sell them as cheap as uh, Best Buy or other places, so there wasn't no need to even throw money into the CDs. I just focus on vinyl because, you know, better profit and that's what I was known for, having good clean vinyl because I'm kind of picky. 
so you know, it pays off. Even today, when many thought vinyl would become obsolete like 8-track or cassette tapes, album sales around the world hit a 15-year high in 2012 at $171 million. According to the Nielsen Sound Scan, here in the U.S., vinyl sales climbed to 4.6 million last year. That's close to an 18% increase from 2011. And Irving has witnessed this increase firsthand. I did notice some uh, zeros moving for the vinyl uh, in the last year. I'm selling more, a lot more records, yeah. Luckily, rising sales doesn't necessarily mean higher record prices for you. So Irving, I've been looking around. You've got an excellent selection here. Tell me about the pricing. Has it changed much throughout the years? Um, not, probably some records have went down in price. Mm -hmm. And then uh, some of the really collectible stuff is still held or even sold for more than what it used to be. So you've got a great range. You have a couple bargains at the front you get here for, for like a buck or so. Oh yeah, 99 cents. Nice what, what does it go up to? Are there some really kind of hardcore collectibles and really yeah, pricey? Yeah, probably right now, probably about $800. Oh, wow. From 99 cents to about 800 Yeah. Uh, I've got a lot of customers that that's the only place they buy is out of the 99 cent bin, so I, I try to put some good stuff in there too. Sure. I get a lot of stuff that's just trying to blow it out the door. And how about, uh, you sell online as well as obviously the store? Yeah. eBay and Amazon, and then, you know, that's good because you get different market and uh, different customers. And you get some local people that see you and say, oh, okay, I'm gonna come in the store and see what they got. Okay. So that's been really nice. What's a uh, you tend to do more in store or online? Is it fluctuate? It's a probably like 60 40. It used to be 40% online, 60% in the store. Mm -hmm. Now it's probably 60% online and 40 in the store. Average price of an album someone's looking to get usually? Um, here, probably $7.98 yeah. is probably the average price. And prices aren't the only thing that will catch your eyes when you come into PM Sounds. The walls serve as a mini museum with great artwork, gold records, star autographs and Irving recently had his own headshot featured in a local newspaper. So you, I see you are a little bit of a star yourself here, front page, oh, the yeah. Daily Breeze, right? That was nice, man. Yeah. That was really nice. When uh, mm -hmm. my man told me he was going to put it on there, I was like, yeah, right, front page, okay. <laughs> so then I, I was coming to the store, and the guy next door, paper, paper, and I was like, paper, I got the paper. I get the paper at home. Right. He said, you. And I was like, hey, that is me. I must say you are looking very cool and smooth, just like ice cream. And we've got just the place for you to get some, J-Sweets. And Jennifer Hua is going to tell you all about it. Chiffon cakes, cheesecakes, fruit jelly candy, and macaroons are just some of the tasty pastry items that you come across while visiting J Sweets inside the Mitsua Marketplace. We do have Japanese traditional sweets and also uh, like contemporary, like cookies um, and all new kinds of sweets as well. All the treats sold at the dessert shop are made by authentic brands that come straight from Japan. To ensure that customers get a chance to enjoy these snacks, the items are always ordered in advance. We import it one time uh, in two months, so like every, every once in two months for the frozen and the dry items. Some popular items include their gray stew chocolate assortments and sesame rice crackers, but their newest and most loved products stem from a brand known as mochi cream. These desserts are similar to the mochi ice cream treats sold in many different markets and restaurants, but mochi cream adds a little twist to their snacks. The mochi cream contains a whipped cream and also the flavors and uh, the jellies inside. We, ne we never had a whipped cream before inside of the mochi. Mochi cream was established in Japan in 2008, but its desserts were introduced to Torrance when J-Sweets opened two years ago. The deli is the only one in the area that offers mochi cream, and its selection of 27 unique flavors even has residents outside of Torrance driving down just to get a bite. You can't really find this in a lot of places, so um, because I actually live in the valley, I work in the valley, but today I had to um, do some work in Carson area, so I thought, oh, I might as well stop by. Torrance may be miles away from Japan, but anyone looking for a quick fix of Japanese snacks can stop by J Sweets and feel like they're in a dessert deli right in the country. For Spotlight Torrance, I'm Jennifer Hua. Come get a taste of Japan at J Suites, located in the Mitsuwa Marketplace at 21515 Southwestern Avenue. Or you can call them at 310 328 
888-888-8333. So Rick, you grew up in Torrance, and you've been coming to PM Sounds for a number of years here, right? So you must still have a record player. Oh, yes. Yeah? Yeah. And how you like coming to PM Sounds? They got everything you need? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I like it. They got such a great selection, you know. I'm just, just, I haven't been in here for a while, but, you know, everywhere you look, there's something good, you know. And just how does Irving source his excellent selection? 